From unidentifiable sea creatures with fur to possible consequences of animal experimentation, here are nine of the most mysterious sea monster carcasses. Number 9. Russian Specimen In 2015, the world was again amazed as a mysterious creature washed up on a Russian beach. A giant sea creature with a bird-like beak and fur on its tail sparked controversy in hours. Russian social media went crazy. It was said to be similar to a dolphin but was twice the size of your average human. On top of that, it had fur. Pretty strange since sea creatures are not commonly seen with fur. Some claim it resembles a Ganges river dolphin, which are normally found in the freshwater regions of India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Bangladesh. But there is one fact that these theorists are ignoring. Ganges dolphins do not have fur. Oh yeah, plus they are much smaller than this mysterious Russian creature. Because of this, these individuals counter back with their suggestion that the creature was simply a washed up llama or other mammal. They say perhaps the beak was actually a snout and the body composition was previously mistaken for a sea creature. To this day, no one knows for sure what it is, and chances are it's probably too late now. Number 8. New Zealand Beast New Zealand hasn't just had one case of sea monster carcass shrouded in mystery. In 2013, a mysterious thing washed ashore causing insane speculation across the country. The Daily Mail reports that a YouTube video filmed by Elizabeth Ann on Pukahina Beach shows the half-buried head of a carcass with jagged teeth and gaping jaws. Only its head and what looks like flippers are visible above the sand. This beast could have been up to 30 feet long. A marine biologist suggested it was a killer whale. Other theories ranged from a seal to a crocodile to a dinosaur. Yes, people say it is some ancient creature that no longer exists. What that creature really was has yet to be determined. Number 7. Bermuda Blob There is no doubt that Bermuda is full of mysteries. One of these is the appearance of not one, but two mysterious blobs that appeared nearly 10 years apart. The Bermuda blob is the name given to two globsters, or unidentified sea creature carcasses, that washed ashore on Bermuda in 1988 and 1997. The first Bermuda blob was found by Teddy Tucker, a fisherman and treasure hunter in Mangrove Bay in May 1988. The man said the blob was about two and a half to three feet thick, very white and fibrous, with five arms or legs, rather like a disfigured star. To further prove its existence, samples of the specimen were gathered and analyzed in 1995. It is believed that these specimens were from a pokilothermic sea creature, either a large teleost or an elasmo branch. Yeah, that really clears it up, doesn't it? This just means it was a large bony fish, shark, or ray. Another suggested that the remains belonged to a whale. The same thing happened in 1997, but it wasn't analyzed until 2004. Evidence from this sample suggested a whale again, but of course, nothing was ever proven, and science itself leaves this case open as another one of the ocean's greatest mysteries. Number 6. The Muriwai Monster Some other very strange things have been popping up on New Zealand beaches after the earthquakes in 2016. The large, weird-looking object that looked like it was covered in dreadlocks washed up on Muriwai Beach in Auckland. Melissa Doubleday discovered it and thought it was a beached whale. She posted pictures to Facebook to get some ideas, and people suggested everything from a sea monster with dreadlocks to an alien pod time capsule. The real answer is probably way more boring than this. New Zealand Marine Sciences Society believes it is a piece of driftwood covered in gooseneck barnacles. But this is a rather extreme case, wouldn't you say? They normally use biochemical cement and a peduncle to glue themselves onto objects underwater. They then ride water currents to wave their appendages in order to filter out food particles. Fun fact, gooseneck barnacles are said to be a delicacy in Spain and Portugal. Now does this amazing creature really look like a thousand appetizers? Or does it look more like a Rastafarian sea monster? That's what I thought. Number 5. Chilean Blob The world has had its fair share of sea creature blobs, but perhaps the Chilean blob is the most famous of all. The Chilean blob was a large mass of tissue discovered on Pinuno Beach in Los Muermos, Chile in July 2003. It weighed a whopping 14 tons and measured 39 feet across. Some say it was the remains of a giant octopus, though nothing was ever proven nor confirmed, ergo why it is on the list. 
In June 2004, it was reported that fragments of DNA found in a blob had been found to match that of a sperm whale. Though this was reported, many didn't believe it had actually been analyzed and people thought it was fake. This isn't the first time Chile has seen a globster either. Back in 1896, a similar case hit the headlines, though this too never had a confirmed explanation. Could they be the same species? A whale, an octopus, or something new to us? What if it is an ancient creature that is so old, we don't have the technology to detect its origins? I'd never even thought of that. Number 4. The Montauk Monster when a carcass washed up on the shore of Montauk, New York, no one knew what to think. In July 2008, a young woman and her friends said they were looking for a place to sit when they saw people looking at something. They joked that maybe it was something from Plum Island. Plum Island is a federal research facility in New York that studies animal diseases. There is a lot of controversy as to what is going on there. Anyway, the Montauk monster was definitely an unidentified creature of some sort, and a local newspaper covered the story soon after it was mentioned. The media exploded as websites and newspapers from all over latched onto the story. Soon after the local newspaper covered the story, the carcass mysteriously disappeared. The finder said that a guy took it and put it in the woods in his backyard, but would not say who or where. In 2011, the Montauk monster was featured on the series Ancient Aliens, titled Aliens and Monsters. There were plenty of theories going around, with the most logical saying that the Montauk monster was just a washed-up raccoon that had been drowned and switched around beyond recognition. Another theory is that it is some sort of reptile like a turtle. I don't know about you, but this does not look like a turtle to me. The problem is that your guess is as good as mine, and there are many holes in most of the theories circulating on the internet. For example, it can't be a raccoon because its legs are too long. It can't be a turtle as turtles don't have fur. It can't be a rodent as the incisors are missing. The teeth don't match that of a sheep, and the feet to eye proportion doesn't match that of a canine. The list goes on and on as to what it could be. If you have a theory, let us know in the comments below. So what could this creature be? Anywho, it's pretty gross. Number 3. Stronse Beast It appeared after a heavy storm in 1808. The globster was 55 feet long, but considering it wasn't in one piece and part of its tail was cut off, it is assumed to be even longer. The Natural History Society of Edinburgh never could identify the creature and deemed it to be a new species. It was soon named Halcydris pontopidani, a sea snake. Later on, others claimed it was nothing but a basking shark still nothing to scoff at. Many witnesses stated it had three pairs of paws or wings or some kind of appendage. Its skin was smooth when stroked head to tail and rough if you patted it backwards, like when you rub your cat's hair the wrong way. Although why people are rubbing a carcass washed up on the beach is beyond me. I don't know if I would be brave enough to touch it. Its fins were edged with bristles and it had a mane of sorts down its back. These bristles seemed to glow in the dark when they got wet. Number 2. Gambo Gambo is the name of a carcass that washed up on Bungalow Beach in Gambia in 1983. It was discovered by a 15-year-old boy named Owen Burnham and his family. The boy, who loved everything that had to do with wildlife, took measurements and made sketches. He did not think about taking a sample as he assumed he would be able to find it in books later on. Gambo was soon decapitated by natives and sold to a tourist. Gross. Its body was buried and every attempt to locate the head that was sold have been in vain. It wasn't until Owen mentioned the event in a newspaper three years later that a cryptozoologist took interest. The two decided that it probably had been about 15 feet long and showed no signs of decomposition. It was smooth with a brown body and a white underside. It had a nostrilled beak that was two and a half feet long, five and a half inches tall, and five inches wide. Owen even counted 80 uniform and conical teeth. Speculation suggests the animal was a whale, a dolphin, or a prehistoric reptile. The truth is still unknown. Number 1. Trunco Trunco is the nickname for a globster sighted in Margate, South Africa in October 1924. Rumor has it that the animal was first seen off the coast of Margate battling two killer whales. Viewers watched as this sea creature fought for its life for two to three hours. Witnesses said it used its tail to attack the whales and would often lift itself out of the water up to 20 feet high. One witness claimed the globster looked like a big polar bear as it fought. The creature soon washed up on shore. It stayed there for about 10 days, got its picture taken, and was viewed by tourists as well as natives. Despite the long stay, no scientist ever investigated the carcass while it was beached. For this reason, no scientific explanation was ever given, nor was there any DNA sample that we know of. 
It wasn't until September 2010, which was over 80 years later, that more information was shared with the public. There was an investigation that gathered that the creature had snowy white fur, an elephant-like trunk, a lobster-like tail, and a carcass that was completely devoid of blood. Odd for an animal that had just battled two killer whales. Paleontologist Darren Nash commented that the photos looked like badly decayed collagen, making it another globster, a rotting mass of whale tissue. Many old tales suggest otherwise. Some even say that it was investigated by the government, but when they found out the origins and mystery behind it, they simply kept their mouth shut. Thanks for watching! If you found any mysterious creature on the beach, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!